Good morning, folks. All right, for today's video, um, I will be making a response to our friend, Mr. Marshall. Um, this this is actually in regards to learning scripts. Uh, he sent me this message, I believe, last week. I think it was last weekend sometime. I can't remember. Um, I'm just now getting a chance to get to it. So, as usual, in these type of videos, I'm going to read his um, his message and then uh, give my uh, response. All right, so here we go. Uh, hi Moses, this is quite long, but please bear with me. I bought the Thai version of the FLR some time ago, but I never took you up on the offer to speak with you. Uh, a bit embarrassed as I took a break from language learning due to family problems. I'm a native English speaker learning Thai in Thailand as a second language. As with many people, I'm finding it tough learning to read Thai. I know the alphabet and I understand how the tone markers work. It's now the tone rules when there are no markers. I use teach yourself and it explains and it explains and gives a grid which is uh, so many of the other uh, courses explain that we need to learn. <clears throat> I had a very good chat with with someone who runs ThaiLanguage.com <clears throat> excuse me a nonprofit site. Though they show the tone rules he advised me to approach it in a different way. The idea which I think is how I learned to read English. Uh, I'm 50 so my memory isn't that good uh, is that if you know the alphabet, then learn by recognition, e.g. before I studied Thai. I saw uh, bot and recognized it as bot and also knew the tone from hearing it so much. I didn't know the tone rules, but seemed to learn that word with no problems. He's, re he's recommended some cheap books written mainly for Thai children that give <clears throat> lists of word, per word progressively longer. The idea is that a native speaker sounds the words you hear and repeat them so the native speaker can check if you have pronounced it correctly. It doesn't need a teacher, just a native speaker. It's admittedly quite boring, but you learn to recognize the word and tone more or less automatically. I'm waiting to receive the books, but I thought I would ask your opinion. I would be interested in how you learned the Thai script or perhaps if you, you, you've got some helpful hints when learning other unfamiliar alphabets. Lastly, I, will, I would just like to say how grateful I am for all the help you give us language learners. Uh, best regards, Andrew Marshall. So, as I said before, this is regarding learning scripts in general. Um, first of all, I'm going to talk about my experience with Thai. Um, yes, I can read Thai. <clears throat> I can recognize all the letters for the most part. Uh, however, um, well, I had a different approach. I didn't learn the alphabet. Okay, when I first le started learning Thai, I, I totally skipped the alphabet and just got right to it. Uh, basically, what I did was use a phrase book. I had a just a small phrase book with basic phrases, and I was going to a chat room. And basically, I started to type in Thai, and it was very painful because, as you know, the Thai keyboard is a totally different layout. So I had to create my own little map and um, go to that chat room and just try to practice the phrases that I the phrases from that phrase book that I had. Um, it was very, very painful, um, but over time, I think I did it for like two months, two to three months, and then I just got used to it. I was able to recognize all of the letters uh, from those phrases. Uh, I got faster at typing, and um, yeah, that's, that's, that's how I learned how to recognize letters. However, uh, when it comes to tones and recognizing which tone is which, um, I didn't really go through that process. And I didn't do a whole lot of listening. Like the phrase book that I had didn't have any audio. So I was basically going by the romanization, just pronouncing it the way it, the, the way it was written out. So um, I was doing that, just totally ignoring the tones. So um, when you, you know, these tone markers, I don't know which is marking a tone and whatnot because I haven't really learned them. So um, that's the biggest mistake I made when it when I started learning how to read Thai was totally skip listening to. I mean, you don't necessarily have to get into um, in depth about, you know, the rules when it comes to reading the tone markers. I think the most important thing is listening to the audio and having a, some sort of script that you can follow along with. Listen to it over and over and just let the sound let the um intonation pronunciation uh just grow on you um through that practice and that unfortunately that is something i didn't do with the thai language 
but I can, like I said, I can read all the Thai letters with no problem. Oh, I can read all the Thai letters with no problem at all. It's just the tones. Um, I don't, I, I have inaccurate, in, uh, inaccurate uh, intonation when I read a lot of the words. So uh, right now what I'm doing is going through a course like Asimil and basically just um, reading out dialogues. And I don't know if you've seen in the past, but I made some reading practice videos. That's why I make those videos. Um, I just read out loud. Um, I spend time on the dialogue, reading myself, and then I make the video to get some feedback to see what's being uh, enunciated incorrectly. So um, you can do that, or if you know a native speaker, you can just record yourself and send them the, send them the audio and they can critique it for you. So um, it's very important. I think you mentioned, yeah, you mentioned before that um, a native recommended some children's books where you can listen to the dialogue um, and have have a native check and see if you're enunciating correctly. That goes with what I was just saying. You need to do something like that so you can recognize the letters, uh, the intonation uh, of the letters uh, as well. So um, that's basically how I learned Thai. And I'm actually so is, I'm relearning it over. So my my suggestion is when you're learning a script, you need to um, go through the alphabet. OK, just just familiarize yourself with the letters. Um, it's not a I don't I, I can't remember exactly how many letters there are in the Thai alphabet, but not there. There isn't there. In, ah, there isn't as many as letters uh, in the Cambodian alphabet, which would take a long time. But you should familiarize yourself with the letters individually and then jump to a text, get some sort of text with dialogues where you can listen to them and, um, you know, uh, follow along. Not only that, you should write down, like copy the dialogue. Um, I made some videos in the past about this, uh, about getting that money, copying out the dialogues over and over um, during the week. And um, perhaps I'll, I'll, I'll post a link in the description to that video so you can go check it out to see what I'm talking about. But you need to write out dialogues with these scripted languages. It's very important to do that, um, especially at the beginning stages. Uh, you will find that at the beginning is painful. Uh, it's it's really painful for some people. It can be fun, um, but you need to do this, and then you'll see over time that you're starting to familiarize. You go to the next dialogue. You 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 begin to recognize words gradually. You say, "Wow, I'm 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 really getting used to this," and it's very motivating. It keep you. It, it will keep you persistent with it. So um, that's really what you need to do when it comes to learning these scripts um write out the dialogues from first of all first of all familiarize yourself with it with the alphabet just go through them um and then once you do that then jump to uh some sort of some sort of book that has dialogues that you can follow along with and then when you do that then copy out the dialogues so that you can really familiarize yourself with the letters okay so um, that's my approach. That's how I go about learning different scripts. It works. Uh, you just have to be patient. So um, I think that is it. I uh, hope I covered everything here. So what are my thoughts? Is it interesting how you learn Thai script? I'm pressing you got some people tips. So yeah, that is it. So yeah, Thai is very, when it comes to those tone markers, it, it's difficult. And like I said, I still need to go back through it myself. Although I can recognize the letters. I have to go. I have to go back through it again because I'm unfamiliar with those tones, you know. So, um, but yeah, that's my that's my advice when when it comes to learning uh, other scripted languages. So that is it, uh, Mr. Marshall. Uh, thanks for this. Uh, thanks for this uh, this this message you sent me. Um, you're not the only one. There are there are a lot of people out there um, interested in learning scripted languages, but they don't know how they don't know how to go about doing them. Now, I should mention Chinese. That's a little different. Um, you can still take the same approach, but they there is no alphabet. So you just have to jump in and just kind of, you know, re just memorize characters. Uh, and you got to write them out over and over and over again. Same same concept, but just there's no alphabet for Chinese. So, but yeah, that is it for this video. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, uh, thanks for viewing and uh, have a good one.